should have some good evidence. Uh, the the point to be made. Let's jump to conclusion here. In conclusion, the human is the most important creature on Earth. Uh, Earth is actually we have here. Sorry, you know, let me just split that, which is very minor thing, but it it's written that way. Earth, not Earth with small letter. Uh, his should be capitalized, which is really minor thing, but they assess you. Uh, they assess you based on your grammatical range and accuracy. So, which is the fourth category? Grammatical range and accuracy are the most important parts of assessing you here. His safety uh, is important. Uh, now, when you say his safety is important, that's one full sentence. You have to stop here. So here we have to add a period. Then we can say researchers should be more restricted. Now, this is not working in the conclusion. You see all of this? This sh should not should not be here. This is not the conclusion. Let's go back to the to the middle. I'll just put it in the middle. You see it now where I put it? Okay, now this is what we need to develop more and add more meat to it. Um, meat, meat, lahm. Um, it's an example, a, a metaphor, tabir majazi. Okay? Um, so in the past, بالمناسبه هذه comments يعني هي مو محصوره بهذه paragraph. هذه كل ال paragraphs الخاصة بال academic writing تشتغل على هذا ستايل. Uh, هنا نرجع للفقرة الأولى، طبعا راح أوصل للنقطة اللي أنت ذكرتها، بس حتى أعطيك الفكرة العامة، لأن هسا احنا بدنا نشتغل على coherence and cohesion. أوكي؟ okay. و task completion. Uh, هنا الفقرة الأولى Medical research is important for developing new medicine. نهاية الفقرة كلمة usage. Do you see it? The, the last usage. Oh, and the beginning of the new paragraph is since. I want you to say one sentence here that will make me go and read the second paragraph. Do you want me to give you an example? Okay. Animals share high resemblance to humans. As we will see later. See? Now, Hadi Lish Ani the Fita. Why why did I add this? Because I do not Yes, and that is cohesion and coherence. Um, if I am not connecting this paragraph to the next one, using a connector, uh, readers will not develop logical sequence of reading and comprehension of what I'm reading. And since uh, it, you are assessed by a human being, if they do not make sense of what you wrote, even if it is highly academic, they are not going to give you a higher score. Um, so that's the... That's the point that I want to make here. But this is my work. This is not yours. So you need to change this later. Um, going to since paragraph. So we have since. The end of the paragraph. Uh, here I want you to add more details. Add more details. Researchers. Uh, next paragraph. Researchers should be more restricted to the regulations and confirm the safety of um, the develop, developed uh, medicine and equipment before testing it on animals. Here we have on. Oh, yeah, yeah. I moved it in the middle. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yes. 
Yes, I already did that. Do you see it? Okay, so in the past, animals, not the animals. So we have here delete uh, the. That should be deleted. Uh, animals were used for... The word used, I want you to change it. Uh, like here, I want you to say, for example... Something different from the word used for testing without any regulations. Uh, this, what should we say? This usage. Again, the word usage, you just repeat. Um, I mean, you can, you can change it, but repeating is just unnecessary. <clears throat> and... <clears throat> is insulted and in increase <coughs> um, delete delete the word in in animals mortality rate uh, which will affect their count on not in because when you say in it means inside so you have to say you have to say on, it's like on the surface of the end, unless they are testing, uh, testing that on um, animals that live inside Earth. Um, and then Earth also, again, it's capitalized. So you see, these are very minor punctuation issues. They are not, uh, they are not huge grammatical issues that we can worry about. Do you love my comment or you feel bad? <laughs> okay. Okay, perfect. I promise you, uh, this... Do you remember when I said writing is a process, it's not a product? What we are doing, we are growing. Um, we started to learn new things about writing. And uh, we do not have to write 10 different samples we can use one sample to understand the, the concept of the framework of writing. Uh, and building on this concept, we can develop a good model. We will reproduce through other writing samples. Do you hear me now? Okay. What I said, uh, it is not necessary to write 10 samples. It is good for practice purposes. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? It is good writing. 10 samples is good for practice purposes. But it's not necessary. What is necessary is to develop a model to understand the concept of writing so we can build on this model. Okay, so go to recently. Uh, recently, we have to add comma. So recently, there, there are, you have to say, there have been. Why there have been? Because what they, what they check um, when they assess your writing is whether you use one tense and you stick to this tense or you have a flexibility of using multiple tenses. So we need to add two or three tenses here. Like this is present perfect. So we need to say uh, present. Do you see my comment or not? Okay, perfect. So this is present, perfect. And I will just change it to orange so it becomes clear to you that this is not wrong. Many, um, many animal committees, uh, we say, refusing is wrong grammatical structure. So we need to say have refused or have rejected. Uh, just to diversify that. So I just added a comment here. See, the word usage, you repeated that so many times. You should use it only once. Uh, you use the word usage, and you use the word used, and you use the word use. And this is, uh, we call it redundancy. Redundancy. Redundant. Uh, so 
I want you to simply think of different alternatives that we can use. Uh, many regulations were applied. Now, when you say many re many regulations, you need to give me give me one single example of this list of regulations. Has said, do you see my? From your mind, yeah, like from your mind, fabricated, mufabrik, just fabricate one. But just to give you an example here, uh, the regulations require that researchers should be quite sure. The word sh quite sure is not formal, um, Ahmed. Yeah, this is informal and sh you should avoid it so much. Do you see my side notes when I said informal? Okay, perfect. That the newly developed medicine or required is safe to be used. See, the word used. Again, you start to use the word used. So instead of saying used, you're a, a, you're a medical researcher. So you can say prescribed. Okay? You can use the word prescribed. So instead of saying used, you can use the word prescribed. It's highly academic word. It fits the context, uh, and it, it's just different. You see my point? Do you have any comments? Yeah, but you need to be more interactive with me. Like if you, if you, if, if you, well, I am not always perfect. Uh, so you need to disagree with me sometimes. You say. No, this is not what I want. This is not what I meant. I will give you an example. So instead of just following everything like I say, just like Muqtada and his followers, you just need to disagree with me and tell me something I will write here. Like, for example, you say, this is what I, what I can add. So I want you just to add one sentence here for this paragraph particularly. Add more to this paragraph, like more details. You said, these regulations require that researchers should be quite sure that the newly developed medicines or equipment is safe. For example, how or what or where or when. Just, you see that? Just add it here and I will just watch you doing it. Yeah, yeah, just add it. أي فقرة أي 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 جملة إضافية أريدك تضيفها هنا حتى تربطها ويا ال الفقرة اللي بعدها مثل ما سويت بالفقرة الأولى. آه خل أنطيك فكرة شون. Researchers should be more restricted to their regulations and confirm uh, the safety of the developed medicines and equipments before testing that or testing testing it and go testing that on animals. هنا هذه شت شت قدر نسوي هذه الفقرة هنا شت نقدر نقول حتى نربطها بالفقرة اللي بعدها. Is is testing uh, so, so or thus does testing uh, medicine on animals feel moral? You just ask a question and then you move. See, had فاحنه سحنا ده تحدث عن pain اللي day. يجي للانيمالز بالفقره اللي بعدها فراح مجرد انطي هيك يعني شلون نبذه انه الموضوع اللي راح يجي بعده راح يكون له علاقه باللي قبله This is the point هذا اللي اريد يعني انت تشتغله حتى يكون اكو كوهيجن حتى يصير كوهيجن اند كوهيرنس That's the point 
by the way, um, what you can do, you have 40 minutes, so you can sketch on a side note, because you can write on side notes. You can sketch the framework, the concept of what you are going to say, and then you add the details in the main draft. Um, go to researches. Has احنا اجا researches or عندنا conclusion اللي راح اطلب من عندك تشتغله هسه قدامي. Researches should be more restricted to the regulations and confirm the safety of the developed medicine and equipment before testing. هذه هي جملة طويلة but هسه ما راح اعلق على punctuation اعلق على مضمون. Because they do feel pain and they are required to make You can, I mean, do whatever you like. I love it. Now you started to engage with me. <laughs> okay. Um, it's see, this is exactly what I used to work like when I was studying in the United in the United States. This is what the professor uh, has us do. Like we sit together and we start negotiating to get to a meaning. Uh, to get to a meaning where we can uh, develop a sense of what we are talking about. Because if we do not do this critical reflection, um, if I give you a delayed feedback and you give me a delayed answer, this is not going to work all the time. So we need to have synchronous feedback, Ahmed. Yani, uh, feedback mutazamana, synchronous feedback. So... Because animals do feel pain and they are required to maintain the Earth's life cycle, I think what you can you can say here, uh, add more details here, and and can how about this? Now, in this paragraph, I want you to start here. Add more details that are connected to the conclusion, and then we will write the conclusion. I will give you five minutes and just watch you. No hurry. Can I, can I use the word also? No, you can, you can say furthermore. Additionally, كلهم تعرفهم بس تتعجز. In uh, in addition, more moreover, to add more. See how the, these are um, these are expressions that are standard of our academic writing. I love it, um, but uh, we just need, mm -hmm. so additionally animals are creatures and do have sense, so we, uh, we say thus, we 
do thus see uh the term of kelmet urgent uh لا تستخدم الكلمات اللي نتحدث بيها بالرايتنج يعني من نستخدمها راح يكون احنا يكون عندنا ناراتيف يعني مجرد ناقلين سبيكينج الى رايتنج رايتنج هي دوله وعلم يعني ما لها علاقه بالسبيكينج آه لذلك من راح تتح... من دماغك راح يذكر لك الجمله اللي تريد تقولها توقف واسال نفسك شلون راح اقولها بطريقه اكاديميك أكدم... هاو ام اي سبوز تو سي ذس ان اكاديميك واي فانت قلت وي نيد تو انا قلت لك ذير از ان ارجنسي ليش ذير از ان ارجنسي لان ذير از ان ارجنسي از اكاديميك ات از مور فورمال ات از مور انديكيتيف اوف يور هاي ماستري اوف فوكابولري احمد ذا وورد ذا وورد كي انت يمكن لان دون تحتفظون بالادويه هوايه فتستخدم كلمه كيب ويسج كيب راح اسالك شنو الالترناتيفز الها؟ يو نو يو نو بريزيرف سي اي جاست تولد يو اباوت ات بريسكرايب نستخدم كلمه لليوسج هنا تو بريزيرف تو بريزيرف تو مينتين تو كيب سو ذيز ار Uh, alternatives here so the word to keep I want to just change it to uh, pre- preserve preserve do you see it okay to preserve them and then we have to say that to preserve and we need an uh, we need an adverb that describes preserve so instead of safe we can say safely as part of our humanity uh, and then humanity goals or hum- human stan- standards standards or uh, yeah humanity yeah now I want you to add one more sentence and then we start working on the conclusion you just need to elaborate one more sentence here saying for example human standards um, go in parallel with uh, protecting animals. <coughs> Bless me. Uh-huh. Uh, Avoid writing long sentences. You can say as a part of human. When you start, uh, wh- when when you say which, uh, I can tell you're thinking in Arabic. Then al hafaz al ma'ayir insaniya alati. From English alati, which, I know that you're using your Arabic, not your English. Yeah, yeah, Mm-hmm. Um, t- I just told you uh, to to protect or to provide protection to animals. Uh-huh. To uh to no human human standards require animals protection. Yeah, but I um okay. Um in in their safe uh we say 
But yeah, whatever. Now let's move to conclusion. Mm -hmm. In conclusion, what, what you need to add in the conclusion is a summary of every, every paragraph you already wrote from the beginning. So starting, I will, I will just guide you here. Uh, just correct the E here. Uh, and add check. Uh, starting from the basic instinct of uh, human beings to pr protect their animal company, Rufqa al it seems apparent that I, I do not want to give you everything. I want you to try. I mean, I can, I can write it and, uh, Mm hmm Yes. The previous unregulated. <laughs> okay. Prefers unregulated usage of um, animals. I would just say change the word usage. I hear you. Do you hear me? Change the word usage. Okay. Okay, perfect. Uh, so we can just uh, uh, use um, 
uh, the previous unregulated misuse uh, of animals. Uh, of animals in laboratories, tests have, spot, uh, have stopped and the animals' rights committees require high safety profile of new innovations. Um, okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I still like, I still feel like this conclusion can can be much better uh, in a way or another. Um, because we we mentioned here in the in the middle, researchers uh, should be more restricted to the regulations and confirm the safety of developed medicines. So uh, there is there is a high uh, escalating demand to uh, to change. To alter, to alter the regulations that uh, mistreat animals in lab conditions, where in lab conditions, this mistreatment includes, but not restricted to killing animals, mistreating them, and prohibiting them from basic food necessities. Uh, this is what I mean here, like saying, uh, there is a high escalating demand to alter the regulations that mistreatment animals in lab conditions. This mistreatment, this is my paragraph, so you should work on something similar to this. When you work on something similar to this, um, or you can you can paraphrase this. Yeah, you, you need to paraphrase this and delete mine. Okay, so it's very simple. Paraphrase this or and delete mine. This is going to help you uh, get to a level of understanding of how you can reshuffle and reorganize this paragraph. Now, if we go down, task completion, I will just make it six. Do you see it? And coherence and coherent, uh, cohesion, I will make it six. Lexical diversity, I will make it six, I'll just keep it at 6.5. Grammar. Um, I will give you five until you change it. You change the necessary um, items that I told you about, and then I will I will cons I will reconsider posting that up. So um, if if we look here at uh, the the average, it's uh, six point five plus six plus uh, six point five plus five equals twenty four divided by four is six. So instead of 5.5, now you are six. Okay. Now the idea is, as you, as you noticed here, this six didn't just come out of thin air. It just came because you, we have changed a few things that are necessary, including changing of tense, adding a present perfect, uh, adding more meat to the paragraphs because you need to add more details. The paragraph is relatively short. Uh, adding paraphrased paragraph here. This is an absolute necessity. You just need to work on that also. Um, so I'll leave you do this here at this moment. What I want you to do is simply, you have two tasks. Uh, task number one, listening test. And task number two, work hard on cleaning this paragraph. Uh, cleaning this essay, I mean, not particularly paragraph, because this is going to give me a better impression of your writing and where you are heading to. Um, 
أكو نقطة أخيرة أحب أذكرها الكلمة يعني مثلا الكلمة هاي إذا ما متأكد من السبيلينج مالتها لا تكتبها اكتب ألترناتيف آه لأنه سبيلينج هذا ضمن قائمة الأكيورسي فإذا مو الكتابة أكيورت هسه احنا عندنا بالأيلتس إذا أنت كتبت مثلا جون وهو جي أو إن مو جي أو اتش إن حسب السبيلينج مالتهم راح يعتبرون إجابة خطأ لأنه بيها سبيلينج Is this clear? Okay, perfect. I'll be waiting for the uh, listening test. And as I said, listening is just to balance. I don't want you to feel bored because we are just fully emphasized on writing or just emphasizing on speaking. Or, And by the way, for, for speaking, we're just normally converse right now. So it's automatically getting improved. Okay, great. When, when do you think you can finish the listening? Okay, and if you have time, if you have time today, I would be more than happy to give you feedback on it. But if tomorrow, it's okay. Great. Sure. Now, would you please summarize what you what you have learned from this conversation? Mm hmm. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. 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 Okay. Perfect. I mean, that's it. Okay, perfect. Well, thank you, Ahmed, uh, for this lovely conversation, and thank you for your cooperation and understanding of my feedback. Sometimes I go hard on you just because I know that you can, you can do better. <laughs> okay, have a wonderful day. Share. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and I hope you're doing great in our episode of today. We have a مراجعه للفصل الخامس من كتاب جورج يول اللي هو The Study of Language. كتاب يبدو مقدمة عن تأثير الهولنديين على اللغة الإنجليزية وعلى الولايات المتحدة بالتحديد مثلا استخدام بعض الكلمات اللي انتشرت في الولايات المتحدة اللي منهم stoop, span, coleslaw, boss, pit in the sense of stone of a fruit bit pan, bedspread previously known as a counterpane cookie, waffle, nitwit from the colloquial Dutch ik, neat, viet meaning I don't know the distinctive American interrogative, how come, a literally translation of the Dutch, who come, poppycock, from um, peppercock, soft dung, dunderhead, and probably the caboodle in kit and caboodle. هذه بعض التأثير لهذه الكلمات اللي اجت من اللغة الهولندية تحديدا كون الهولندية والألمانية the two particularly um, durable Americanisms that emanate from Dutch are Santa Claus out of Santa Claus, a familiar form of St. Nicholas, first recorded in American English in 1773 and Yankee probably from either Janky, a diminutive equivalent to the English Joni, uh, بمعنى يعني صيغة تصغير لكلمة جوني من يانكي جوني 
uh, or Yan Kass, John Cheese, intended originally as a mild insult. اللي ممكن uh, تكون بها نوع من ال uh, الإهانة أو التصغير بصورة قليلة مو عالية. يبدأ الفصل بمناقشة المسائل اللغوية الأساسية اللي لها تأثير على اللغة الإنجليزية ومكوناتها في اللغة الإنجليزية. أولا نيولوجيزم راح تلاحظ أنه أني هذا الشرح مالته ومقابيلة الترجمة الترجمة قد ما تكون دقيقة مئة بالمئة لأنه حقيقة متعبة جدا ترجمة هذا النص حرفيا إلى اللغة الإنجليزية إلى اللغة العربية uh, Around 1900 in New Berlin, Ohio a department store worker named J. Murray Spangler invented a device that he called an electric suction sweeper. This device eventually became very popular and could have become known as a Spangler. People could have been Spanglering. تلاحظ أنه هذا الشخص اخترع هاي الآلة مثل عندنا حاليا كلمة جوجل اللي هسا بدينا نستخدمها كفعل فهنا من يجي شخص ويخترع في شيء معين نسميه نيولوجيزم نيولو نيولوجيزم 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 اوكي نيولوجيزم فمن يجي شخص يخترع شيء ونبدي نسمي افعال او نضيفه على شكل صفات مثل الناس سبانجلر سبانجلرش Spanglerism اللي هو noun Spanglering اللي هو verb Spanglered past verb هذا نسمي neologism neologism في هذه الحالة عندنا مثلا كلمة Google تمشي على هذه الشاكلة نجي على etymology etymology هو أصل الكلمات etymology هو أصل الكلمات فباختصار the study of the origin and history of word is known as its etymology. A term, إذا تريد تزيد بالشرح مالتك, a term which, like many of our technical words, comes to us through Latin, but has its origin in Greek. For example, etymono, اللي هي form, جامي etymon, اللي معناها form, logia, اللي معناها study. فإنت حتى تنطي مثال اختار الكلمة نفسها etymology وانطي عليها المثال etymono اللي هو form and logia اللي معناها study of أو study borrowing هو الاستعارة بس مو الاستعارة المعنى البلاغي مالته هنا الاستعارة أو الأخذ من لغات أخرى الاستعارة أو الأخذ من لغات أخرى لأن أكو أكثر من معنى الاستعارة باللغة العربية um, فأز بيل برايسون observed in the quotation presented earlier one of the most common sources of new form in English is the process simply labeled فهذا هو التعريف مالتها one of the most common sources of new words in English is the process simply labeled borrowing that is اللي معنى Taking over of words from other languages. أخذ الكلمات من لغات أخرى. Technically, it is more than just borrowing because English doesn't give them back. اللي يقصد بي أنه من يأخذون هذه الكلمة من لغة الأمارات يحولون الجمع مالتها يحولونها على شكل فعل يحولونها على شكل اسم أو صفة تتحول هاي الكلمة إلى أكثر من من هيكل لغوي أو من تركيبة سنتاكتيك لكن تحافظ على مرات بعض الأحيان الصوت مالتها مرات ما تحافظ على الصوت مالتها تبدي خاضعة لقواعد الصوت وقواعد الاشتقاق اللغوي والتصريف اللغوي الإنجليزي إذا كانت على شكل فعل أو إلى تص... إلى اشتقاقات أخرى يشتق منها فعل يشتق منها اسم اللي إحنا نسميه الحالة derivation Other languages of course borrow terms from English as in Japanese use of super 
اور سوبر ماركيتو اللي هو سوبر مارك ماركت سوبر ماركيتو بال بالياباني وعندك ايضا تايبرايتا اللي معناها تايب رايتر اوكي تايب رايتر بالياباني تايب رايتا اعتقد هذا الفظ صح الاستعاره الترجميه A special form of borrowing is described as loan translation أو calc شنو معناها حسب ترجمتي الاستعارة أو الإعارة الترجمية In this process دي شرح الكاتب There is a direct translation of the elements of a word into the borrowed, borrowing language يعني راح يكون ترجمة حرفية إلها باللغة الثانية اللي هي مستعارة لها فعندك مثلا 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 term gratial gratial or gracial which literally translates scrape sky or scrape sky the Dutch Vulcan crabber cloud scratcher or the German Vulcan kratzer cloud scrabber هذه أمثلة على معنى loan translation loan translation all of which were calcs for English skyscrapers. اللي هاي كانت الترجمة الحرفية لكلمة ناطحة السحاب باللغة الإنجليزية skyscrapers. Okay? Sky scraper or skyscrapers بالجمع. The English word Superman is thought to be a loan translation of the German Ubermensch. Ubermensch. And the term loan word itself is believed to have come from the German Leinwort. Lean word اللي هي معناها loan word بالألماني lean word lean word okay فهذا الشرح لكلمة uh, loan translation فإذا إجا تعريف لشنو معنى loan translation بالامتحانات عندكم أو دا يطلب من عندك uh, ترجم loan translation هذه هي الترجمة اللي ممكن توفرها لهذا النص تحديدا شكرا لكم مدرب لغة وليد خالد